Hey guys, so this angle might seem a little weird. Yes, my shirt is hella wrinkly, but I am Nell Nicole and I am your astrologer and also my hairline's fucked up right now. So, <laughs> we here, okay? Like they, like these. We in within this frame, okay? Say hello to my prehistoric plant. His name is Sing, okay? And we're just gonna get on with things and, and get on with the get on. So welcome to Leo Moon. If you have a Leo Moon placement or know anybody with this placement, please like this video. Share this video with your Leo Moon person or, you know, send it to somebody that you guys are like, you know, you and your best friend know your best friend has a Leo Moon boyfriend. Send it to best friend so she can know what her dude is really like, okay? When she really gets into it with him. So first things first. I said in the last video in my Cancer Moon video that I think I need to do sort of like an introductory moon video. Like I should have done that before I, I just went all willy nilly and started posting because I feel like I just literally be like I jumped straight into talking about placements. Um, so I'm going to slow down a little bit and give you all a little bit more of an introduction. So Leo represented by the sun right leo is the place where we feel the most confident uh in the zodiac it is the space that is the most uh creative and playful almost childlike right it's how we see ourselves it's how we see the child in ourselves um grow into the mature version that is accepting of the inner child right because the people who find like leo is happy energy it's the sun is bright and shiny it is life it is joy right it is essence um joy in its essence uh, so what was I just saying um anyway these people oh tend to like it's happiness right so you can only really attain happiness in your adult life once you learned how to nurture your own inner child nurture your own sense of creativity within this world that asks of us to be responsible and dutiful and you know go to work every day and service our relationships it's like okay but what about me you know when 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 leo what about me but not in a way that's like you know immature or anything like that just hella sort of like the spot in the zodiac that's really fun that's leo energy right so if your moon just so happens to fall into the sign of leo the moon actually represents our emotional um buoyancy right it's who we are within our emotional reactions within you know our the things that are ingrained within us by our mother because um the moon rules the mother right archetype in the zodiac as well as it rules over cancer so put these two things together and you're basically telling me that this person reacts emotionally with this leo flavor right so what that can look like is um Actually, it's it's pretty similar between males and females. I usually try to give y'all a breakdown because some of the signs I feel like the males and the females just do not act alike. But if you are a person with a Leo moon, I'm gonna look at my notes now. <laughs> you probably tend to be very expressive about your emotions. You're probably very straightforward with how you feel with people, even though um, what I will say, like I do what I like to call observational astrology and a lot of the Leo moons that I know are very, very big shade queens. <laughs> Like, they'll tell you how they feel, but they're not just going to come out and say it honestly, like an Aquarius might, or even a Gemini moon might, just tell you how it is. The Leo moon is going to still want you to like them when they are done reading you, so they're going to make you feel like they're the baddest bitch in the room by saying it to you in a way that's, like, so cool, but also, I just read you for filth and you can't do anything but, like, just admit it and fix yourself in my presence <laughs> so um and just a very demonstrative uh demonstrative is that the word i don't know they demonstrate their um their emotions to you in a very dramatic way so it might be through the body movement it could be through the flipping of the hair it could be through um you know just the way that they're using their speech because people with leo placements always talk as if they're on stage like everybody's watching and people often do stop and stare because it's like why are you so loud you know why are you so you just commanded everybody in the room's attention what you're talking about has nothing to do with any of us but because of the way that you just open up about yourself you know they are very quick to let you know how you made them feel um and they're going to express it with all of them all of their cells like it just is what it is um they also have a very creative and childlike side right so these signs tend to have a flair a very very like 
just dramatic sense about them and so with that especially when it's like you're tra channeling emotions when they're happy they are showing it they are jumping up and down they make they giggle <laughs> they may snort they may do something like that um and then when they're mad they may throw a tantrum like it's very childlike the way that they um just react to situations and they express how they're feeling um it, it can be like the fact like they can seem like attention seekers because they do need a certain sense of adoration in order to feel important in order to feel seen right the sun shines its rays on us to give us life so like any person with any leo placement wants to be seen i don't care what they say and even like i know some people with like leo moons um and scorpio ascendants they'll just watch you and watch how you do things or whatever but like secretly if they like something they'll do they'll turn around and they'll do it and claim it as their own or like i mean i'm not saying that all leo moons do that but like they still want to be seen they, they want to kind of like be in the shadows until the until they're ready to express themselves is what i'm saying and then they show the fuck out or they may even do it just for like a partner that they have or something like that and they do it just to show out um but they need that level of adoration almost in a very childlike way they're gonna ask for attention if they need it they're very like hey hello are you not paying attention to me like don't not answer a leo moon's phone calls they think you hate them and they will not call you even when you call them they may not call you back just because you dared to not answer when they call um let me see yeah they need to be adored or, or else they will go and look for other people to pay attention to them so if you're in a long-term relationship with a leo moon and you're not coddling them and showing them affection and like constantly telling them how proud of them you are that you see how charitable they're being how nice they are and how kind they are how fun they are if you're not taking them out to have fun and to like be the center of attention and be able to put on nice clothes and like go and show off they will talk to other people that's just what it is like i'm not saying that they'll cheat um because they can be very very loyal but like also they might be the type that's like oh i just went and got some head that's not cheating yes the fuck it is like but i love you yeah you probably do but also you went and got head and that's not okay with me but they'll be like but also you didn't pay me attention and that's not okay with me so what was i supposed to do leo moon for that ass okay period um <laughs> yeah they will try to get their attention from elsewhere so they could be um like i know a lot of porn stars have leo placements because it's like they want that sense of like somebody pay attention to me somebody see me somebody watch me do these tricks while they sleep they can be freaks okay so freaky freaky diggy diggy freaky diggy freaky okay so these people love to leave you with the feeling in the bedroom as if they just put it the fuck down and like nobody else could touch them nobody could do it like them they wish you would mention another person's name to them after what they just gave you they just broke you off period and they could also be the type that like i'm not gonna lie like they'll have sex with you and then go get head from somebody else right after but like if you did that to them they'll be like you disloyal smut <laughs> but they will do it they will just trust me um they need okay so they'll even give you attention as if you're the only partner like give you undivided attention while going out in the streets and seeking attention from other people because they do need a lot of attention they need somebody who's going to be on them sweat me okay but then also they don't want you to sweat them what they want is a is a balanced relationship like let me be completely honest with you they do like like a like a cat you know how cats want to be bothered when they want to be bothered and then they don't want to be bothered when they don't want to be bothered they're like this if you get a leo moon who's really into their work jackpot right because they're usually the more focused more committed type they have they feel like they have a purpose they're not like trying to expend all that energy on fucking different people and stuff like that but like they still need you to text them throughout the day to let, the, to let them know that you are thinking about them and like on their mind when, you, when they come home have a bath ran for them like bring them some flowers have them flowers delivered to the job that like that day-long foreplay is such a leo thing such a leo thing especially leo moon because then you'll have them emotionally wrapped up right <laughs> like you'll have them you'll let them know that um you care about them buy them food they love that you know give them things when you when they say that they're doing something give them some money they like that because they feel like you're taking care of them you're giving them what they need be useful don't get them a bunch of shit that you like that you want them to have because that's not going to win them over they need to feel like they're the center so like very thoughtful gifts but also very expensive thoughtful gifts don't leave out the expensive part because just the thoughtful part is going to get old really quick okay um what was i saying oh my gosh but yeah they 
don't like it when you're too clingy because then at that point you seem desperate and they want somebody who is desirable so they also like to have a person who is very deep into their work who is very um like just always moving like an entrepreneur type business owner big ceo or just like wherever you are wherever you work is cool as long as you're a manager like they just need boss ass energy around them all the time somebody who makes their own schedule or you know runs their own little like a scientist even if you do your own thing throughout the day and it's like i can call you but i know you're also busy so let me call you and mm, you know over the phone for a little while and then okay babe i'll talk to you later like that type of shit keeps them going they need that fire air signs tend to be really really good for leo moon people because air signs can talk and talk and send you texts and send you nudes and all that and keep you on tip <laughs> they can keep you there um and leo moons really love to have that fire uh fed for themselves like they need that yeah they're really good at wooing people too um and they also really most of the time need some sort of artistic outlet um so they like things that are quick i'm gonna be honest with you paint is a big one with them because it's like i can make as many strokes as i want in a certain amount of time like let me do this um of course with them being so dramatic uh theater is another one where it's like oh i get to go out there and show everybody that i'm a star you know that energy clothes is another thing because it's just a way to channel expression um and they can take one thing and switch it up a thousand different ways um even though it's, that's not really their ministry i'm not gonna lie like they tend to want to be flashy with the fashion if it's if that's the like anything that they do is very fiery so like even in the paint it's usually a very determined stroke um lots of warm colors you know lots of fiery themes in the work um theater the most dramatic pieces ever like uh they just want to be able to show their full range being that they're leo people they want to be um, you know the best so they want to be able to show that they can do any type of role you know you wouldn't necessarily find these people wanting to be typecast although they typically go for like very good looking like Leo Moon people can have good looks you know so they tend to go for like the player type the wooey type like the, the very bad chick type like whatever but um even like I said with the fashion and stuff they want to be regarded as like just expensive and grand and like royal think royalty whenever you think Leo um expensive fabrics i got expensive habits he want to roll with me he like to go with me whatever she said but yeah that was very leo of beyonce um i think she has a Ju jupiter in leo something like that but yeah that gave me very like just very flaunt flossy flashy energy um they're very action oriented and like put your money where your mouth is like don't talk all that shit and then not not show up not pop shit like i'm i'm gonna talk about you like you ain't shit you lame as fuck okay um <laughs> the males tend to be very experimental with their peens <laughs> is this too much information but yeah like their their sex is attached to their emotion kind of so like they want to show you how they feel about you by being very passionate and just like very thrusty and very like let me flip you around in the bed and just be real romantic have the candlelight the rose petals you know the oils all of that leo moon wants all of that they want all the smoke right because they want you to be like you had an, a luxurious experience with them like you had the experience of your life okay fireworks with them um play fights are big they really love being affectionate and playful with the people that they love even the kids you know kids with leo moon they tend to really love a good play fight a good pillow fight sock and boppers would have been good with leo moon kids back in the day i don't know if i just dated myself but sock and boppers used to be them joints um bop 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 a couple of times you know until little brother start crying then they'll go take care of them. oh you know come here little brother let me get you some eyes like very attentive very affectionate very sweet towards their loved ones um a real strong leadership energy there towards the loved ones um they hate being bored they really need excitement in their lives which can lead to drama sometimes depending on how you know evolved they are what their age is what they've been through in life they may be attracted to situations where it's just like mm, that's clearly not good for your life but it's something it's something that um is keeping them going like i said they need that energy to kind of keep them going um And so in that way, emotionally, they can become players. 
uh, if they just get bored with the chase, you know, talking to people, and it's like, ah, oh, I got all these hoes. Like, Leo Moon stay with some hoes. But do they like these people? Are they genuinely attracted to these people, or is it just you're talking to me right now and you're kind of cute and i wouldn't be embarrassed if anybody found out that we were talking and exchanging nudes they could even have sex with their friends and still be very loyal to their friends and it be, not be weird or anything because they just have this like phallic sort of need for sex but at the same time like i would say the women not so much well they could like honestly it goes one of two ways they're either super super sensitive and like no i really want to be married like i'm waiting for my prince charming to come sweep me off my feet but they still got that bad girl side where they can go out and they know they can catch you know, as many men as they want and they can have sex with them and just be like oh he was nothing throw him to the rubbish you know it's just about what how she sees herself and how she wants to be the guys it really depends on i feel like y'all it depends on penis size i'm not gonna lie to you because the ones with the little penises be trying to overcompensate like a motherfucker okay but the ones with the big ones be acting like you know they they're cool or whatever like they be chill <laughs> i'm just being honest with y'all um they still might be very arrogant about it like have a lot of women just because they know that they can and if they're not in touch with their inner child like if they're in a career where they're really stressed out they like to take it out on people by having a lot of casual sex and they will still treat you like trash like it won't matter you know until they find somebody that it does matter with a lot of times how the leo moon feels i've in my experience is like contingent upon how their work life is going and how their money is going because if they can't maintain a certain lifestyle they're not really with the shits um and they may come off as selfish selfish and arrogant but again when they love somebody you see a totally different side of them like you see such a caring nurturing side they still could be a little chauvinistic as men um or just like a little bit like cater to me you know as the woman and be like oh take care of me or whatever but like they still have all the best intentions for their mate um they just want somebody that's going to act right and do right by them they love to be diva, center of attention. Don't disappoint them. If you disappoint them, they are instantly, like, automatically turned off. Like, it takes so much to win a Leo moon back over once you've ruined their level. Because, like, they want to think highly of everyone. They want to think that you want to be the person that they want you to be, I guess you could say. They do kind of have this um, delusion that people are going to just, like, be perfect, kind of. Like, they want the most out of everyone. So sometimes they can get a little bit depressed about that. Um, and I don't know, like, just when they feel turned off by you, it's just like, I'm turned off now. Like, I don't know what that is. They're very stubborn, very stubborn. And then also, um, they tend to take things personally. So, like, if you, like I said, if you don't answer Leo Moon's phone call, they will be like, why the fuck aren't you answering the phone for me? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, they're taking it 100% to the chest um because they feel like you're trying to say something about them and they take their friendship so seriously it's like if either you down or you not i'm not gonna play these ball-headed ass games with you <laughs> even as a friend very selfless with the loved ones they can seem very stern like i said depending on their upbringing and their current financial state and work life like their daily flow if they're not happy with the daily flow they come off as very stick in the butt very stern bitches like oh my god but if they're happy if they're like centered within their family life they feel fulfilled within their life they're good with where they are they make enough money or their spouse makes enough money their quality of life is set they tend to be much more happy people and they showcase their playful side so much more even into older age like they love um just young and hot shit like even like you'll find these leo moon older ladies who are like driving motorcycles who um you know they wear their little midriff doll like they're just hot they like hot stuff and even the guys like they'll date so much younger than themselves because they love anything that makes them feel young and childlike and youthful anything that gives them a pass to do that anybody that is young they'll love a lot of these people have like oh my god so much love for kids they could work with kids work in professions where they're um like helping kids in foster care just like in a space where they can go and light up the world of the kids they love that type of stuff too doing charity events oh my god such a leo moon thing um what does this say as women they tend to bring opportunities into them using their charm and their good looks and their wit and their like savvy personality and as men they tend to be more networky they want to go out and talk to everybody be where the scene is move with the with the crowd you know what i'm saying but like be ahead of the crowd but also be in the crowd so that you can take advantage of everybody else that's in the crowd but then also like 
then go start your own crowd leo moon my hairline is fucked y'all to jail i'm just sweating and it's messing up i don't want y'all to see okay i'm sorry um so as far as a partner they're going to need somebody like i said who's going to be very accepting of their confident nature you cannot be with a leo placement period but especially a leo moon if you are insecure now i've seen leo moon virgo moon get together but like leo moon bigs virgo moon up and virgo moon feels accomplished by like being able to hold a candle next to a leo moon but like if that virgo moon is super super self-depreciating and like super depressing the leo moon is not gonna like that shit they're gonna be a bitch because they're gonna be like wake the fuck up like snap the fuck out of that sad ass shit that sorry ass shit i don't want to be depressed you're depressing me like what the fuck is going on with you like, what, have some fun lighten up but really it's not even gonna be that because after a certain point of like trying so much to cheer the other person up leo moon is just gonna go find somebody else that matches their vibration that can lift them up and that can be optimistic along with them so um but they need somebody who, who's gonna be okay being the ugly partner you see what i'm saying like they're gonna need like the guys take just as long to get dressed and get get ready for you know events and stuff as the women so the girl has got to be okay with that you feel me like we sharing this mirror girl we sharing this hair gel um we're gonna share this shower gel this exfoliator okay because i need to be beautiful too um and as the girl like she definitely needs a gentleman she 100 percent needs a gentleman somebody that's gonna really lay down their jacket over a puddle for her to walk over it that would woo her the romantic side of these people knows no bounds no bounds at all so you know pull out every single stop for them go get the you know order a car get the dinner reservations a month ahead of time like really set the stage up for these people they love that um and you cannot treat leo moon people like they're just anybody that's my last and final note that i have for you guys um if you agree with this then let me know how you agree down below if you have this placement let me know if this uh you know my little interpretation uh you know resonates with you or not if you guys would like a personal reading you absolutely can get one of those by going to nellnicole.com the shop is up the shop is up girl i have my crystals on sale over there um i'm getting ready to release a single over there so if you ever want to know what's going on with me follow me on twitter snapchat instagram those are down below or check out nellnicole.com if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it on your Twitter timeline, your Facebook timeline. Let these people know I'm here, okay? Because I'm trying to grow this channel and get more videos out to you guys and create a whole entire high vibe community, okay? So um, if you're into this type of stuff, please support the channel. I will see you guys later. Oh, be sure to check out your sun sign if you haven't already. I have a whole playlist on my channel all 12 sun signs my interpretation of them leave me comments over there same as you would under this video and look forward to the rest of the videos coming through in order i'll be doing virgo moon next and i will see you guys later love you